welcome to today's interview with officials from the Health Services Authority. I'm Donna Bush. Of course, we're here today to talk about the JCI accreditation and the impact that that has on the general public. Joining me in studio are Sophia Lyons, a Quality and Risk Manager of HSA, and Natalie Harvey Com. She is the Health and Safety Manager. Ladies, thank you so much for being here with us. So when we hear JCI, what is JCI? All right, so JCI is the abbreviation that we use, but it actually means Joint Commission International. Mm -hmm. And the Joint Commission International is a organization that accredits um, healthcare facilities um, internationally. So they go around and ensure that the safety and quality of service that is being provided to the patients are up to par. And they will um, ensure that whatever is being done is reflected of what their organization stands for. Okay, take us a little bit through that process. So the persons come from JCI to assess the, the HSA. What, what, what does that process look like? Okay, so we call them surveys. So the surveys would visit our organization. They would give us a date of their visit. This is normally span within a few days, um, a week and some days. Um, they would come in, they look at our facilities. But let me backtrack a little. In, at HSA, our focus for JCI was using the acronym SIM, which meant safety, infection control, and medication management. Mm -hmm. So those were three main areas that we were focusing on. So when the surveyors came in, they look at those three areas from an uh, organizational standpoint. It included facility, the practices that we were doing in our organization. It looked at our... Um, care that we had provided to our, pa um, our patients. Mm -hmm. So we took that from that standpoint and we look at it from every aspect and it was a tedious one and we did it in fine style. Okay, so now the HSA has the gold seal of approval. Um, what does that mean for the HSA? Well, um, th this gold seal really is validation um, of the care that we have been provided. Mm -hmm. So this international organization, they came in, they have standards, they measured, they observed, they did interview, they checked our practice, and they found that you know, we were maintaining quality of care that is on par with international standards. And so we get this goal seal, and it aligns us with other organizations in the world that are providing that same level of care. So what this is saying is that the HSA really is providing high quality care for the people of the Cayman Islands and that you can get the care right here at home as well as you could get overseas. It's the same quality of care. Okay, how often does the surveyors come in? Do they come in to do general checks every once in a while? How often does this process take place? Okay, so this was our first survey in May and we got our first overall accreditation for all our facilities. Now we're on a three-year cycle you know, to be re-accredited, but any time during the three-year JCI, they could show up unannounced just to check to make sure that we are maintaining that standard of care that, we, that they hold us to and that we show them when they arrive. What, what did it take for the HSA to actually get to this point? It must have taken it, yes, it took hard work. It took dedication from every person, from right up to the board, down to all the frontline staff. It was an involvement of everybody. It was total commitment to this task. Okay. Um, what about the transformation that you all have seen from before to now where you've reached to be able to get the accreditation? What, what does that look like? What has that looked like? to see how the HSA has, has grown? Um. Well, a lot of it really is, you know, with the, we have seen it with our staff, because what JCI teaches us is that quality, I mean, it's part of my job title, mm -hmm. but quality is everyone's responsibility. And I've seen ownership from all levels of staff. When you come registration, understand what is my role in quality of care? Mm -hmm. You know, if you're getting a ride or portals, if you're taking you, you know, to x-ray, you know, how do I provide quality care to this patient? What is my role in an organization that has a seal of approval of quality? So it's an understanding of what quality means and that it is everybody's responsibility. And every job title, you know, has some quality aspect to it as well. Yeah, okay. we all take ownership. We all take ownership for this quality of care that we are providing. Okay, so when, when the surveyors come in, you've been given your golden stamp of approval and you're accredited 
uh, to world-class standard. Um, are any areas of improvements or areas of weaknesses identified when they come, the things that you can improve on for you know, better or to stay in line with the accreditation? Are there any areas that they say, oh, you may need to work on this or you may need to work on that? Is that part of the process as well? Definitely, because quality really is not a state. Quality is a state of continuous improvement. Right. So if they come and they measure and they also provide advice, you know, say, okay, you're doing this, but this is, this is how you take it to the next level. Right. So we are constantly looking. You have to measure to see where you're at, you know, with your patient experience. We ask the patients, you know, about their experience. And when they tell us we take that information, we use it to improve. So it's always been in that cycle of you know, checking and then improving, because there's always more that you can do. Right. Um, when were you accredited and which of your facilities went through the process? All right, so our accreditation took place from the 1st of May to the 10th of May, and we got our official report on the 17th of May, and all of our facilities were included. So that included the main campus, the eye clinic, the dental clinic. It included our district clinics. It included Faith Hospital. It included Little Cayman. So we were all on board. Every, every department was assessed. Okay. for this accreditation process. Okay, were there any surprises of departments that or units that stood out in the report or in the, un, in the accreditation process where they came back and said like these areas are just like, you know, top, they're doing really, really well. Uh, yeah, were there any of those? Yeah, so daily they would provide us a feedback mm -hmm. of the previous day and they would, the most important one, where they, they were acknowledging our staff, how receptive they are, how willing they were to share this information with them. Mm -hmm. So commendation was given to the staff continuously throughout this process. Uh, we made some improvement and they were real pleased, especially with the OR renovation. They were pleased with the cleanliness of the organization on a whole. Mm -hmm. So we were proud of that. How receptive was staff? Very, very, very receptive. Very, they were all very excited and you know, each person felt that individual responsibility because it's not going to be because of me. I have to go out there and shine for the HSA and that was the, you know, the mode across the entire survey. They wanted the surveyors to come to their department. They wanted validation of the quality of care that they were providing in their department as well to say, hey, we got checked and no, we helped the HSA to achieve this accreditation. So it was a team effort. Everybody was excited. A little bit nervous, of course, because, you know, you don't want to answer, you know, the wrong thing. but. Right they were all excited to participate and to you know, get their um, share in to say, I was part of this process. Okay, well, for anybody who visits the HSA, uh, the, main, the main hospital that is, I'm sure they can see a lot of physical transformation that's happening, um, a lot of moving parts, uh, moving to other areas to make it better for uh, the patient. How will the patient benefit from the accreditation? Well, um, for accreditation, we use evidence, they encourage us to use evidence-based practice and of course we standardize care. Mm -hmm. So we have to look at our processes and if you come to the hospital 6 a.m. on Monday, you come 3 a.m. on a Saturday, you should be getting that same level of care. And your care shouldn't depend on the, the provider that's present when you arrive. So they help us to standardize practice across the organization to look at our weaknesses and to look at where we can improve as okay. well. So overall, patients going forward because of the accreditation definitely be yeah. should be in, in the level of care, your physical care, as well as your experience, because it's a complete package. So when you come, right. you want to get the care and you also want to feel cared for. And right. so we want to extend that to our patients. Okay. Any final words, ladies? Uh, we just want to tell the patients, and the, not the patient, the entire population of Cayman Islands, that all that we did, we took them into consideration. We are mindful that we are the main providers of healthcare in the Cayman Islands, and we want to make sure that our services are up to par with anybody, even internationally. And we got that validation from our accreditation process. And we want to just say it was all because of them, their, their input, mm -hmm. their involvement, and it was all um, a team effort internally, and we are very um, appreciative of the fact that we were able to share this experience them, with them, our patients. Okay, Sophia? Right, and I really wanna endorse what Ms. Natalie said. We did this for our patients. We did this for the entire Cayman Islands. And you know, when you come to a facility, you know, 
we hope that you know you leave with a positive experience because that is what we are you know that's what we did this for accreditation you know it involves commitment it, it involves resources and we want to give that to our patients so that they can feel welcome and we want to say thank you to our staff as well because it takes constant daily putting that effort in to maintain that quality of care for our patients. All right, ladies, it's been a pleasure to have you here with us and to our viewers. We hope that you've learned more about the HSA's JCI accreditation here on CIG television.